The biggest opportunity for is of course uh, connectivity. Uh, so we are providing connectivity on a global basis for a variety of car manufacturers. We are doing that on a global scale. Uh, so it uh, spans from China over Europe uh, to the Americas. And we are uh, delivering that uh, connectivity uh, not only for the car, but also for the customers who are sitting in the cars and who want to uh, create and want to achieve good uh, services. We have right now um, in millions of cars, tens of millions of cars, normal cellular connectivity incorporated. And 5G will bring us an uh, additional bunch of new technologies which will even enhance and increase the functionality of uh, our cellular networks. That's uh, low latency compute, mobile edge computing, that is direct communication between the cars and the car and the infrastructure, traffic infrastructure, like uh, traffic lights. Uh, that's various uh, functionalities around quality of service and network slicing so that we can make sure that uh, safety related services in the car get uh, priority uh, over services which are more consumer oriented which are more, um, let's say, uh, entertainment functionalities, for instance. So these kind of functionalities are very important uh, from a connectivity point of view. And moreover, we can offer um, positioning technologies out of our networks, which are also very important for the connected and for the automotive, uh, autonomous driving car. Of course, security is a very important topic. Maybe if it comes to autonomous driving, the most important topic because it creates trust at the end for, for the customers uh, who wants to buy the, the technology and, and the functionality uh, to, to get the benefits. But security is not only limited uh, for the network itself. So the network uh, in between the cars and in between the car and the backend infrastructure is only one part of the whole security chain. So we as an operator are heavily engaged in end-to-end -end security. So we are providing tools and efforts for the security within the car, intrusion detection functionality, secure operating systems within the car with a chip card uh, and credential systems. Of course, we are providing a secure network, mobile network infrastructure, and we are providing highly secure data centers, uh, which are operated in a reliable and very secure manner. The fully autonomous car will be on the road uh, within the next two or three years, uh, so it will be uh, it's market ready right now. Uh, I think the final tests are done by the car manufacturer, so we will see it in 2020, 2021. Already uh, some cars, some very high advanced premium cars already started. Of course it's not 100% of the driving time, it's only limited uh, on the motorways for instance or for limited uh, purposes like valet parking, so you can drop off your car and the car parks for himself so that's also autonomous driving of course in a very limited area but we will see this as a let's say evolutionary process which comes into the market